Make mine. I knew it would take time. I knew they would doubt shine. Thought it was just music. Didn't know that they would take sides. Freestyle at the party. They said turn it down. Sorry, was I talking over what you're gossiping about? Small town with dreams that didn't involve skis. Looking at me like a weirdo outside of the scene. Stuck to my friends. Stop fucking with fair weather. But the maple showers brought out the Mayweather. Didn't know what I was doing, but I knew I couldn't stop. Wasn't slowing down even when my fourth tape dropped. Around the time I was drunk, most of my freshman year. Was so focused on my craft that my grades got weird. Went home, then I went back early 14. All my friends had new friends, and I lived off campus in a dingy apartment on a twin bed mattress. Sucked, but I kept my grades up for a bit. I would kick it with some homies every now and again. But the Laramie cold was keeping me inside, and I was smoking on the green when I needed to write. Wasn't able to sleep or even write without it. And being alone made my anxiety spike. If I was hanging with the group, I was drinking that night. Couldn't handle being out without a drink in my sight. Was a mess working on the science of feeling tall. If it wasn't for that tape, I wouldn't get it at all. Recording on a mic that was USB. Thankfully, I had Craig making all of my beats. Still struggling, trying to be heard. Still a joke back home, stuck in his work. Drop science to dead silence. I was like, word. They don't get it yet, but I swear that it's gonna work. Went back home for the summer, met up with a girl that I used to love, but I was all messed up at the time because I couldn't deal with thinking about another end to us. She brought me back to life back in senior year, couple months of that, and then she disappeared. She explained to me, and it made sense to me that I couldn't move forward with a heart and fear. So I got distant on some bitch shit. Can't lie, I was truly being a dipshit. Like oh my, knew I would move to Seattle then. Home never let me stay too long, I guess. So I headed out to AI art school. So I thought, cool, I'ma be fine. Family wanted a degree, cool, I'ma get mine. Not sure if I made the move for me at the time. I just had to get out. I was just tired of being home. Every ounce of my future was riding on a microphone. That's a lot of pressure, even for a condenser with no mentor to measure up. My music was truly meant to deliver. Fell in love with the city, fell back in love with my art. I was truly in the present. I learned to follow my heart. 